you know, von Neumann architecture, as we talked about how they do calculations, search engines, keyword search, you know, very, very simple lookups. Here's all possible places at keywords. It's, it's a little bit more sophisticated, but it's, it's keyword searches. Do a search, get 100 pages back. Mm -hmm. uh, Watson does not do that. Watson uh, first will ingest raw information in unstructured text. It's a very sophisticated natural language system. It has incredible natural language capability built on 20 plus years of IBM research. So it, it can understand very subtle implications in natural language. It can draw correlations in context within different pieces of natural language information, number one. Uh, number two is, I think the best way to think about Watson is it's, it, it's a collective system or platform of multiple statistical engines. It uses sophisticated mathematics and statistical engines to not only understand the language, but look for possible information that could be relevant to whatever you're looking for. And then it does very sophisticated ranking of statistical probabilities. And if you remember, actually in the show, Watson would give an answer, but there was a little answer bar in the bottom, and it would show the top three uh, answers that Watson was considering. And, and Watson knew what it knew and it knew what it didn't know. It had a probability associated with every answer. So it wasn't like getting 100 pages of search. It's rank ordered statistically, probabilistically uh, answers. Watson also had learning engines and has learning engines which are very sophisticated. So not only does it do these calculations at a point in time, but it learns from what it gets right and what it gets wrong, what it gets wrong or who it's competing against. So it's a very sophisticated set of mathematical statistical engines, which, as I mentioned before, once base programmed, is ne the programming is never touched again. You can add algorithms, but what wants and wants is information and data and examples of what's right and what's wrong, and it wants to learn who can I trust and what information can I trust, and then it will start to statistically rank that higher. So entirely different kind of system statistically oriented because it's dealing with uncertain data. Mm -hmm. How many people and how long did it take to work out that base level of programming that you're talking about, which was the foundation that allowed you to say, now we've reached the tipping point, now it's really working? Yeah, yeah. so it, uh, first of all, I mean, this, this stands on decades of artificial intelligence, AI research around the world in terms of what works and what doesn't work. So we had a, a great base of what doesn't work. Um, we, we had a team come up with, uh, in two or three years, this approach of sort of open statistical analysis. Uh, that said, when we first applied this to the simple Jeopardy question set, uh, we were about three years before the, the winning game and Watson, on the systems of that day with the algorithms we had, its, its precision or probability of being right was about 30 or 40 percent, and it would take an hour to an hour and a half to come up with an answer. That, would not, that does not make for a good game show, much less a, <laughs> much less a good, much less a good uh, advisor for a medical doctor. But yet we could see the progress of that system and it was over the next three, three and a half years that we went from 30 to 40 percent probability in an hour and a half to what we called the winner's circle to compete with a Rudder and Jennings, where we had to be 85 to 90 percent correct and precise. And we had to answer that and do all of the searches and, and, and algorithms within about two and a half seconds. Roughly, roughly speaking, although we were running things in parallel, we had a second to understand the question in complex natural language. We had about a second to find all possibilities. We had about a half a second to decide what we knew, what we didn't know, and were we going to bet or not. And That's so tough. Much. In That's about tough. 500 milliseconds. That is a really tough problem. And to this day, no one else in the industry, to my knowledge, has accomplished that.